Hello everyone, it's Avery Dawnside and welcome back to another video. I am super duper excited to be filming this because A, it's super exciting that it is Star Stable's 10th birthday, but also because I feel like I haven't sat down and just done like a random video like this in a while. Life has been kind of hectic and crazy, but we're making it work and this is the perfect opportunity to do a random surprise video of the week. So um, we're just going to get right into it. I am wearing a semi-birthday outfit already. This actually wasn't planned at all. This was an outfit. Fit, um, that Beta and I randomly put together the other night because um, we like to match our outfits a lot for like random things whenever we're on together. But it kind of works out for the birthday theme. So let's go ahead and get into it. I haven't looked um, at any of the spoilers or really anything. I mean, I've seen the horse. I honestly don't really even know where I'm going. My two guesses are either somewhere in Silverglade or in Moreland. So we will check out Moreland first because I know they tend to do a lot of like events over in Moreland when they occur. So we're gonna head over there. My shillings are looking pretty sad. So if we're buying anything today, we'll have to see. I'm not sure if you get the birthday outfit for free. I would be a little bit surprised. Okay, I was right. Oh, this is so exciting. So I remember filming last year's video and wondering what they were going to do for their 10 years. And I kind of like hypothesized that they would do a free horse. But it honestly seemed a little bit surreal just because it's star stable and like getting horses is a big deal. So to get a free horse is huge huge. Um, I can see a lot of people are already on it, which is super exciting. Okay, first we're gonna check out, I think this is just like horse treats. Yeah, those cakes actually look super yummy because I'm quite hungry. Um, and then we will head over here, which I'm guessing is like fireworks and stuff. Yep, okay. So this is really similar to the other event that they do. Um, I believe it's the Midsummer Festival but obviously it's birthday themed, so that's the main difference. Stage props. Okay, okay, so this is the birthday outfit. Oh, that's actually really interesting. I did not know that you had to pay for the outfit. I mean, it makes sense, but I feel like typically you're given a free sweatshirt, um, but I feel like that might be one of the codes that are coming down the road. Um, so I'm not gonna buy anything because it is a lot of star coins. Um, and as much as I love Star Stable, I don't know how often I would actually wear all of this, although it is super cute. And Beta actually pointed this out to me. Um, the outfit for this year is a recreation of Star Stable's first birthday outfit. Um, I will try and find some photos for reference and put them up on the screen here if I can. But yeah, Beta pointed that out to me and I thought it was really cool. Ooh, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice a little bit. Um, but... Yeah, most of this is just the typical stuff, and then I believe there are some things in the global store, which we can check out right now. <gasps> this is so cute! Wait, this is so unique. Oh, this is so cute! It's so random. These are really cute. I believe that's all. But, yeah, we're probably not going to be buying anything today, um... Just because I am broke on Jorvik shillings. And then this is the horse, which before we do, I'm not sure if you have to do a quest or anything for it. I actually just want to look at it. So coincidentally, after like, um, right before this horse was like announced and released, I had just done the shopping spree where I bought my Jorvik Wild. And part of the reason that I bought the Jorvik Wild that I bought, which is the black and white one, um, was because I didn't have any black and white horses. And I was in between getting the one for TT and getting the black and white one. I was like, oh, but the black and white one goes with a lot more. So I'll just get that one. And then they just released this one literally the day after I filmed that video. And I was like, oh man, I kind of wish I got the other one. But now I will just have two black and white Jorvik Wilds, which is super exciting. And the coats are very different. Um, I think they're very cute. I like all the details. I really like um, the markings on the face. Uh, I think it's really unique and very, you know, cool. 
Um, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to name this horse, so that's going to be a spur of the moment thing. But I've been getting a lot of black and white horses lately anyways, because I just bought this one, um, and then I am getting this one, so yeah. But let's get into it. Ten years since Moreland Stables opened its gates to horse lovers from around the world, what a special day it is. Oh, it is a special day. This mystical horse seems to want to join in the celebration, meet the soul seed. Cool, cool. Looking for a rider to be its companion. Would you like them to join in your future adventures? Yes. Oh, cool. Mega Steel. That's kind of funny. Super Mountain. Great. Oh, great honor. That's kind of sweet. So the name that I chose for this horse is actually going to be Starstone. I don't 100% have a nickname for this horse, so if any of you have suggestions, go ahead and put them in the comments down below. But I'm gonna name it Starstone because I think it has a nice ring to it. I wanted to see if I honestly could just name the horse Star Stable um, and then just come up with a name like later down the road, but I thought something close to Star Stable since it's like the Star Stable 10th birthday horse. So we're going with Starstone and we are going to get it in three, two, one. Yay! That's so crazy that you can just do that. I can't imagine how exciting that would be for um, like new players who hadn't really played the game before just to log in. But then again, I could also see it being a bit misleading. Oh my goodness, this Halloween horse is what I'm saving to get. Mark my words, I will be getting that. Um, but yeah, I could also see it being a little bit misleading for like new players to join the game and then just get this um, like new horse that they don't have to buy and then have people like think that that's a regular thing for Star Stable, but it's not because clearly we've waited 10 years to get a free horse except for the Druid horse, which not everyone can get unless you're a Star Rider and you do all the XP. Um, so... But I think it's really cool and it's a really awesome way to really like make people feel included. It's a little bit different than just giving out star coin codes, which are great, but I think it's really awesome that Star Stable decided to do this. So I am actually gonna snag the outfit off of Classy here. So we're just gonna stick with the outfits that we have on. Oh, look how cute. I honestly really couldn't tell the difference between them, but I think that's kind of cute. Hi. Oh my goodness. So cute. I was really anticipating um, the horse to look kind of like a rainbow, like all over the place kind of thing because when we filled out that form for what you wanted the horse to look like, I personally selected all of the rainbow options because I thought it would really be really cool to have a rainbow horse, but I'm surprised we ended up with this, but I think it's kind of like a happy medium because it's something magical for the people who enjoy magical horses, but it's also um, like laid back and I wouldn't say realistic, but more real realistic in the colors um, for people who prefer more realistic horses. So I think we became to a happy medium as a community, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, okay, so let's get, oop, I need to put that on first. Oh, and I forget you cannot do leg wraps on these horses, which is okay. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, this is just amazing. It's another horse I have to train, which I've been pretty behind on my training game. Don't tell anyone, it's fine. Um, I've been super busy with school and I have three jobs and life is kind of crazy, like I was saying in the beginning, but we're making it work. So I've been kind of behind on my training game, hoping to get back on that soon. But let's go ahead and look at what this horse looks like. I'm going to do the gate montage in three, two, one.
Alrighty, so that was the gate montage for you. I'm not the biggest fan of the gates, but I do think that they fit the horse really well, so I'm happy with it. I'm not going to change the main style or anything because I do have to get to work. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am very excited and extremely grateful to have been in the Star Stable community for eight plus years going on, which is insane. Um, I've been here basically since the beginning with Star Stable and it's been amazing to just grow and have every opportunity to see the game develop into what it's become today. And I'm extremely like honored to have this platform to celebrate moments like this. So happy birthday to Star Stable. I'm sure there will be possibly more videos that I end up creating on Star Stable's 10th birthday because it is a big deal but this is just going to be the first one for now. I hope you guys enjoy getting your soul steed. Let me know any nicknames in the comments below that you have for me because I would love to use one that you guys suggested but I'm gonna head out for now. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you so much and thank you for being a part of this game and this community with me. It would be nothing of what it is today without all of you. So, thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!